uh, I think that second verse where it, where it, where it really concludes that. Um, second verse? Yeah. Uh, do not be conformed to this world's age, fashioned after and adapted to its external, superficial customs, customs, but be transformed, changed by the entire renewal of your mind, by its new ideas and its new attitudes, so that you may prove for yourselves what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God, even the thing which is good and acceptable and perfect in His sight for you. That's right. That good and acceptable, perfect will of God, that good and thing, uh, some, uh, thing that's acceptable and perfect, that, that's perfect uh, for you, is, is according to Leviticus 11, 44 and 45. And that says... And then, uh, the, and then the corresponding scripture that goes with that first Peter, I can't think of the name the number on that. One, six, yeah. Leviticus 11, 44, 45. For those of us that are going to hear this recording, Lord have mercy, I don't know how long we've been doing this. It's going to be released at some point in time here, real soon. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to have all this broadcast at one time. This might be a two, two for, I don't know. 11, Leviticus 11, uh, 45. For well, I am the Lord who brought you up out. Mm-hmm. Therefore, you shall be holy, for I am holy. Amen. Now go to First Peter one sixteen. Okay, First Peter one for it, uh, sixteen. For it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. Does it say something in fifteen too? Yes, yeah, it really starts at fourteen. Right? Yeah, fourteen. Live as children of obedience to God. Do not conform yourselves to the evil desires that govern you in your former ignorance. When you did not know the requirements of the gospel. But as the one who called you is holy, you yourselves also be holy in all your conduct you and manner of living. For like oh, it is Jesus. written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. Amen. See, that's the kind of that's that's why we need to be more like Jesus. And we talked about uh John 3 16, John 15, 13, Romans 5, 8, where it talks about a particular word in there that that exemplifies uh who God really is. And why we need to be more like him is the love of God. And, and, and the love of God is so much so that he does give us pardon, even, in, in, even when we're messed up. He said in that, in that in a, I think it was the 15th verse, he said about... Verse 1, who called you and told Verse 1, point, point. Um, Verse 1, verse 1. Live as children of obedience to God. Do not conform yourselves to the evil desires that govern you. In your former ignorance. That's it right there. That's it right there. God is so loving and caring about us. And he recognizes that. You know what? It, when we were out there outside of him and we did not know him, we did not understand who he was, we were operating in ignorance. And that ignorance just means you weren't stupid. You just didn't know. But since now that you know, he says, don't, act, don't go back acting like you don't know. Because the Bible says this, that for them that know the right thing to do and they fail to do not, it is a sin. So if it's a sin, then you ain't being like Jesus. And we need to be more like Jesus. Because the Bible lets us know that in all that he dealt with on this earth, he came down here as a, he came down here to do more than he came down here to do more than one thing than what we just think he did. We think that John 3.16 is all he came to do. He came to do more than that. He came to be an example for us. First off, he came to, he came to be an example for us. He came to, uh, 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 to become acquainted uh, with man. On an intimate, personal level. God knew man because he created man. But then there's a difference between knowing and having intimacy with man in the way that God could not have intimacy with man. That's because right. God is holy. Right. We were unholy. So there was no way that he could have that intimacy with man unless he came That's down right. here in the way that he came in the form of a man. Of a man. That's right. And because he did that, he got to know us on a more personal level. This is this is that song that the wine that said, "I wish to wish to know you better." That's what God did for man, because He said, I, "I know everything I created was good, but there ain't no goodness that dwells in man." That's right. No. But that sin, sin takes took away the goodness. That's why we have to become more like Jesus. We got to come forth from out of that place that God called us. He called us out of darkness, sin, into his marvelous light, which is holiness. And he says you need to walk in the light. Walk in holiness. Amen. And it's a 24-7 operation. Amen. 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 It ain't just on Sunday morning. Amen. 
Oh, no. Or when we go to Bible study or anything like that, it's a 24-7 operation. And it's a hard task. It's a hard thing for us to do, but he gave us help. We got the Holy Ghost. And we got his word. Amen. And if we are here to what God tells us through his word, if we adhere to the leading of the Holy Ghost, we will be more like Jesus. Amen.